Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. Welcome to 2024. I want to show how I check images on the page to make sure they are loaded. It's not just about checking the source attribute, because there could be source URL, but it might be invalid, the image could be corrupted, the URL could be data um, blob. So there's a better way. If you have an image, for example, this one, you can check its natural width or natural height property. This property is only set once the image is successfully um, loaded and decoded by the browser. So if we have our test right here, we can get this image loads and we can check that it has a property natural width, for example. Most Cypress assertions don't change the subject, but if you have, have prop plus the name of a property natural width, then it actually yields the value of that property. So we can say should be say greater than zero. Okay, if image is there, then its width will be greater than zero. And if for example we misspell the URL, the image doesn't low and the natural width remains zero and our check fails. This is great for a single image. Let's see what we can do if we have multiple images. So right here I have an image, I have an image about source, I have a data blob URL, I have a SVG image and I have broken SVG image. So if we just run the test, it shows that there are two broken images and three good images. So the way I would check it is like this. We can get all image elements on the page and then check each one. And we get jQuery object right here for each image element. And we can say, for example, with and call prop natural width. And we can say expect with to be greater than zero. So the same syntax, just explicit form. And when it fails, it doesn't give you much useful information, unfortunately. Well, the easiest thing is to use the index and say k image k plus one. So at least we know which image failed. So the first one was fine, the second uh, was not fine. We can go a little bit further. We can look at unique properties of each image. For example, we can look at source, but if a source is this data blob or SVG, it's not that useful. So let's grab ID and maybe alt text first. So we can say ID element attribute alt same thing. And again, because with jQuery, it's really easy and we can say image and just put them together. Okay. And in this case, we can say image. So provide more information right here so that you can debug it faster. It's great. Unfortunately, this fails really quickly on the first image and then stops checking the rest of the image. And sometimes it's easy if you report all broken images at once, because maybe it will allow you to figure out the problem faster by, for example, seeing that you know, the second link is broken. So instead of failing right away, we can do the following. We can say broken images and just collect all the information. So if width is zero, then we can say broken images and push you know, the message that we were showing on the left. So once we finish checking the images, then we can say if broken images length, well, now we know that there are broken images. So now we can throw new error and you know how many images are missing. Well, it's this. And now we can um, get broken images join information by just adding it to the error. Okay, so 
two broken images, image two, image two, second image, alt, and then image five and undefined. And of course you can add if else conditions to not put undefined alt, for example. So this is how to check a single image if it doesn't load or all the images on the page. Find the full source code in my Cypress example site recipes. I will add a link to the description of this video.